All right. Looks like everything's set up. Um, so the last time we finished, uh, I was pretty much done with the line art uh, for pretty much the entire piece. I don't think there's really anything I got to add. Um, I do need to make a slight adjustment. Let me go ahead and pull up the notes. This wasn't there before, but I added it while I was preparing everything because I realized I forgot to make my notes. But yeah, so the only thing I want to change with as far as the the drawing right now and the line art before I actually move on to doing the fine inks uh, is uh, fix her head. So I don't actually like that she's staring at the camera and I think that's what's been bothering me a little bit. So I want to go ahead and just take the time to fix her head and make her look like she's actually in the moment and not posing for the camera. There's a bit of, you know, like a funness to that. Like it's, it's kind of just silly to have her aware of what she's doing. Almost like she's on TV, a TV show, but it's not really what, I was, what I'm going for. So I'm just going to duplicate this. So we can just have like a history of what it used to look like. And then on the one we're going to keep, we're just going to erase the head. Bop, beep, bop. Then I could just erase the earrings because there was never any, um, anything to that. It's just two little squares. So I don't mind losing that. But such deep, rich history. How could I? Hmm. Kind of a hard part of this is just completely erasing it and then redrawing the head to look proportional to everything. It's a good thing I kept the liner. So we can actually get like... An example of, of how big I should make the head. And the neck for that matter. Where is it? This one. Uh-oh. Oh, I was doing everything on the wrong layer again. Imagine being me and having do work on the wrong layer. It's never happened before. I'm trying to think of a way to make this feel really natural, because I don't think I want her head, like, stiff. So I might have it, like, rock back a little bit. So you see, like, the underside of her head, the, uh, chin. I'll draw a line in the middle so you can see what I'm kind of trying to do here. Go for, at least. I think the head's a little too big, but we'll tweak it. I am liking kind of, like, the position. I... Am I right? Oh my god. I'm working on the wrong layer again. I'm going to end up cutting my hands off. In a video game. Let me just do it like this. Beep. Beep. We're just going to cut a line right around everything. Put her right back on the same layer. Then we're gonna merge them. Deselect. Oops. Okay. So now let's erase the entire every anything that's kind of left over. This is probably some little tails. Okay. All right. Now that it's all on the correct layer, we hope I can actually do what I was trying to. Shrink it down with our voodoo grid of magic.
I think it's a she's looking a little bit too high up for what I'm going for. So let me bring it back down. Because she's not staring at the ceiling. She's staring like. Let me zoom out a bit. Her line of sight would be like right, just straight. So I think maybe her head being kind of bent down a bit. This is one of those things where maybe I could have um, fixed it during the inking phase, but usually if I just leave things up to, to a different and just hope I can fix it later, it ends up biting me in the butt. So I'm trying to get ahead of it. I think she looks a little bit more. Um, I don't know if powerful is the word I want to use, but she looks a little bit more powerful when she has her eyes angled downwards a bit like she's advancing <sighs> like you uh, charge head first into things bip bip let's look how she head's a little small now <laughs> um try tweaking it just a bit i think it's because i'm making the neck a little stick out a bit too much so let's try lowering the chin even further and just change the eyes a bit Just getting better and better the more I'm tweaking it. Okay, I think I'm good with this. This, this feels right. Should have done these little lines in a different layer because that kind of screws everything up. Let's see the nose. Nose is just a very easy guide for the face, so you can do everything else from it. Since it's like just right on the center of everything. No, let's not do angry eyebrows. We went through this already. <laughs> I, had, I had her very first sketch was very aggressive compared to what I was going for. There she is. That's her face. That chin's a little big. <laughs> I made the mouth go really high up. I pushed everything up for some reason. I wasn't even thinking about it. It kind of had a default uh, head shape, but hers is actually a little bit thinner. I think it's a very small chin and a small sharp chin, but a very wide jaw. Not necessarily wide or broad, but like square. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. You'll you'll we'll just see when it all comes together. I 
I don't know if this is the case for anybody else, but usually whenever I make characters, like I have like notes in my head of exactly what shapes their heads or nose are. That I'd never write down anywhere or I never make little uh, side comments or anything. I just keep it in the back of my brain. The most I'll do is I'll keep a reference by of the original sketch. This is actually the second rendition, like a cleaner rendition of her. I had I had all the characters done super quickly in like a little sketchbook before I replaced it with like the nicer marker sketchbook where I did like the final design phase. Then we're here where I got to do like last minute any last minute changes that I, la I wanted to do like uh i did have to change her hair because i didn't really like that she had bunny ears it was a design choice i made that i never even noticed let's leave the eyebrows like a little high like they're angled but they're higher up so she kind of looks excited expressions can be really hard and really fun in that in their own way you, I really have like a lot of respect for artists who can get like very subtle expressions. I think you see that a lot in anime, although I guess, I guess also kind of the opposite where it's not subtle at all. But like you get very specific faces that like only one character make, even though everything is super simple. Like everybody knows a character's face. Too far apart. I don't know why, but the one that comes to mind is Nagatoro. Nagatoro has like very specific face shapes. Uh, Konosuba is another one where they have like hilarious facial reactions, but it's so specific to just Konosuba. Like, I mean, there's other anime and manga that like have similar expressions, but like. If you know Konosuba, you really can tell when it's like that artist doing an expression. And I really like that about anime light where it's like everything is drawn in a really the relatively simple style, but you're still able to create all these complex emotions and expressions that can be like specific to even a, just a single artist. Like you can tell exactly what artist uh, did it, even if you don't know their name. Did I give her sharp eyes? Yeah, she has sharp eyes, but they're also like the shadow kind of hides it a bit. Eyes are also always so insanely important whenever it comes to like anime figures. Like, you can almost tell everything from, like, a character's eyes in a lot of the anime that I watched, maybe when I was younger. I remember, I don't remember the name of the anime, but there's, like, an anime by, like, a blacksmith. Uh, and, uh, like, a warrior night girl. I don't think it was any good, but it was, like, very etchy. But there was one moment where... Like, throughout the entire anime, I noticed that the, his, the blacksmith's eye was kind of off. Like, he didn't have any shine in his eye. And I was like, oh, maybe it's just, like, a quirk or just, like, an art artistic stylist thing. And then eventually it's revealed that his eye is, like, fake. And I was, like, completely amazed because I was just, like... It's such a subtle, like, design choice. And I picked up on it, even though it was like literally just like a glint of an eye that wasn't there. And for some reason, like my brain locked onto it immediately. And it actually meant something. It wasn't just like a design choice for no reason. I always think about that a lot. At that moment, I was like, yep, this I really want to like focus on eyes and making them important, keeping them important. 
I think the more obvious one is like um, Naruto. There's a whole bunch of different like eye powers, like you know Sharon Gun, the Rina Gun, the Byaku Gun. So like growing up, especially with the anime that I watched, like I, I loved having specific eyes, like eyes that are very important to the, the design of a character or like the abilities of a character. Like, I, I try to put a lot of their personality just into the eyes. Something, something, windows into the soul. I think everybody's kind of heard that line. So you kind of just want to reflect that. That's just, that's just how I like to design them. Just a bit of mischievousness to the smile, but not too much. I hope you aren't hearing the crying baby in, in the, my living room. My nephew's... I don't think he wants to go home. It's very picky. Well, let me see if you can hear that. Ew. I'll try muting myself for uh, while I work on this for a bit because the, the, that baby crying is really annoying, and I don't want you guys to suffer through that. All right, I think the baby settled down now. She's kind of got, um... There's that really annoying conservative guy that has, like, the tiny face. That's kind of what she's got going on right now, and it's bothering me. The Turning Point USA guy. The guy whose face, like, shrinks every time he comes out. It's like every time he says anything... I'm getting political. I'm going to dial that back. I should probably fix her face before I keep adding stuff to it. Now, why does it look so off? Well? I think it's definitely the mouth being so high. Right? She's got like a super chin. Hold on, let me add some her lips. See if that like helps give, add a little bit more to the face. Maybe that'll kind of even things out. She's looking a little thumb-like right now. So let's try cutting the head out and trying to like adjust the size. Time to behead the lady. Her graceful bald head. on big brain okay
She looks so weird with the bald head right now. I think that's what's throwing everything off for me right now. It's weird that I can just turn this into a 3D object. Bet. Flick. Now we're going to put it right back in merge. All right. Yeah, that fixed it a bit. I think it's just the fact that she has missing hair is weirding me out. Oops. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, let me make sure everything looks good. It's a little off with the, with the eyes, but it's not too bad. Okay, this is starting to feel a little closer. I think it just needs to be darker. No, nah, we're going to leave it light. I think this one needs to get lighter. The button to flip everything is also the same button to switch brush. It's, I mean, right next to the button, so... That's why I keep accidentally flipping everything. I think the only thing I need to worry about is making sure the hairline's straight. Because it's at an angle. Let me pull up her old line art so I can see the hair. Okay, so this way you can actually get to see some of her undercut. So that's going to be fun. So she has her two little bangs that come out to the side. I'm going to have them kind of go across her face a bit because she is swinging. It'd be weird if her hair was completely stiff. Undercut would like start around there. It's at the, like the corners of her head. Is there anything different with her ears? One of those little notes I make in my head is whether or not they have attached earlobes or not. As weird as that might sound. No, she has detached. Or like how sharp their ears are. Which makes sense whenever you're working with goblins and elves, but even just regular people, I'm, I'm kind of taking notes of how sharp their ears are. Regular human characters. Although I guess maybe vampire isn't a regular human.
gonna need to pull the old line art out again. Just wondering how I did it. I've, I've better refined the top of her he head and everything whenever I get to the inking part. It's not just going to be these straight lines. This, this is mostly just for a guide. And like I said, she gets an undercut. And also... I don't know what to call these parts. I don't want to say they're sideburns. But I do see that most girls keep their... When they keep their hair long, they still have like strands of hair that come down from her ear, their ears. But it's kind of weird calling them sideburns. It's just like their hair. I don't know. And that big ponytail, like, it's gonna scatter behind her. Just to give everything flair. It's gonna go all sorts of different directions. Hmm. Maybe... Just some small tweaks to the physics. Trying to get it feel, to feel like it really belongs where it is. Mm -mm. Wow. Okay. Am I missing anything? I think I need to thicken up the upper part of her lip. Get the eyelashes a little bit more str uh, stronger. And also the cheekbones. I'm going to eat some of and let you hold on. Don't want to hear anybody. I don't think anybody needs to listen to me chewing. Don't need to define it too much. Just like a subtle. I don't think I'm even going to define it in the inking. I think I'm just going to let the uh, color and shading do that. That's huge. And the eyelashes, I really want to get like sharp. 
I, lo I love how they looked in the original line art. Maybe just a smaller brush. Bah. Bah. Trying to get the... I want them to look sharp. Like they could stab somebody. No. Hold on. Literally, she blinks and it's a weapon. It's a little silly, but uh, for some, I think it's really striking visually. Fix the eyebrows up just a touch. Same thing where I just really want it to look sharp. Everything kind of blurred out when I tweaked how it looked. The uh, tweak the angle. Maybe just a bit of her other ear come up on this side. Just the little corner of it. And then I think the jaw needs some tweaking too. I was hoping I was going to be done with all the line art just in the last frame, but alas, I just had to think of, think of something to fix. How's it looking? Something looks off to me. I think it's the eyes now. It's always something. I'm usually not too bad at making eyes look like they match up. But sometimes I, I, I do struggle with it. And usually the, my issue is that they end up looking in the wrong direction for what I intended. So they'll be looking slightly to the left when I meant for them to be dead center. But they'll still at least like match that direction. It's just not intended. I 
And I think the eye might be a little far. Are her eyes angled in the original? No, they're pretty flat. I'll have them a little angled. Let's see if I can do that for the other eye too. I love the little cheats you can do to fix things. How's it looking? I think the head's a little thin, and that's why what's a little bothering me. This is the hard, the, the really difficult thing for me. Um, whenever I make the head last, it ends up making everything else harder for me to do. It's really hard for me to get the right proportion of a head whenever I have to... I'm losing my train of thought. Hold on. I'm trying to focus on this. I'm gonna have to think about the... When I already have the body settled, usually I'm always... I'm almost always do the head... Head uh, first. What?
I think the cheekbones are also a little bit more pronounced, but I don't think that's an issue. Let me check my mirror prints. Maybe I'll have the eyes point back towards the camera. I'm going to merge this back together. Oops. Make the brow a little less pronounced. kind of juts out a little bit further than I intended. There you go. I just kept clicking the wrong button. She doesn't really have any bags under her eyes. Okay. So earlier I was mentioning that I wanted to try changing the eyes. Bring back a little bit of that awareness. That doesn't look right. That's better. Just a little bit bigger. That feels good. Oh, the noise, noise, the nose should be a little pointier. Because I think I drew it when she was like looking really like far down. And now it should be a little bit more higher up. So it's like right there. Let me check. Don't want it too extreme.
Yeah, it's always an issue with the mouth, isn't it? It's going to be lip stream number two. The Ravnos have a very specific uh, vampire teeth design, at least according to, or at least um, in my head, because uh, I've, I've been using like I had. There's an artist that like did a specific mouth for every vampire clan that I think is r extremely well done. So I use uh, those as my references while I was um, working on all the characters. So they have like the two, you know, canines that are uh, uh, really long, but they also have everything beyond the canine jagged uh it's only like maybe the front four or five teeth i don't i don't hold on eight yeah teeth that are uh you know normal and kind of flat Sorry, just another pause for the Rose Can Let You. Can I get somebody to pour out something for the Rose Can Let You? Ooh, I just, wow, that's not right. I'm going to be tweaking this face all day. It's going to be the world's first stream where all I do is just the head. We're getting closer. Mm, it's like slowly... Uh, slow, slowly we're getting more and more to the point where I'm happy with. That's what I'm trying to say. Come on, come on. There we go. Just the right curve to it. Hmm, maybe the curve's too far. How far does this smoke? Goes back like that.
This, sound, this beat sounds like Nuja Bass. There's some piece to Nuja Bass. It's one of those names I've never heard to say no, said out loud, so I hope I'm not sounding like an idiot. Uh, how did I spin it? <laughs> there you go. And then curve is just angle is a little bit slightly higher. So it's like at an angle. Hmm. I'm really close to being done with this, but I'm just wondering why she looks a little different. And I think I figured it out. Once again, it's the eyes. <laughs> I promise this entire stream won't just be the eyes. Oh, sorry. This entire stream won't just be the face. Me redoing a head. We'll get to the inking. I know everybody who watches this stream is just dying. I actually don't mind just erasing the eyebrow because it's, it's actually like four lines, so it really doesn't matter how, how I do it. I'm not going to cut it out and do that work. The eyes are a lot more complex. The eyebrows are just super simple. Oh my god. Trying to make sure everything feels right.
I swear, just the strain of hair is throwing everything off now. Okay, I think I'm actually done. Now I just need to add this little bang and we're good. We're, we can move on. Okay. It's messy. We'll fix it. Uh, we'll fix that in, the, in post. Let me also get our earring ba earrings back on. If I can remember what blue I use. I think this one. Okay. I'm not editing it again. Don't look at me. I'm a filthy little liar. I'm a filthy boy. I said I was done, but I'm not. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. I swear I'm not. I'll I'll just stop talking now. Cause I'm just all the all that comes out of my mouth are lies. I'm a filthy human being. Okay. I said I would shut up. Okay. 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 <sighs> all right. All right. <laughs> that took way longer than I thought it would. So let's get back to this to do this. I don't know where I just. Okay. So that's the. I'm on the wrong layer. <sighs> Here we go. I just realized I was like five feet away from my mic. What? There we go. So next is inking. So this is where we get the nice little brush out. The only thing that's going to be inked is the characters. Uh, I think the background characters are all going to be just painted in, basically. The background's not going to have any real line work to it. I might have a guide. So, like, solid line work that won't actually show up in the final piece, just so I can get things a little bit more directional. But, otherwise, not really. Nothing's really going to have to change. Ooh! I did also forget one last bit of line art. This has nothing to do with the head, so don't worry. I forgot the rope. 
I just drew it out. Uh, I really hope I can find a picture of what I where I had the rope. I think I knew it was going to go under her arm like that. Let me, uh, I'm going to have to go searching for her, the original line art that I did. Because I think I deleted everything and didn't keep the drawing of the rope. I tried to, like, close things off so it wasn't so chaotic. Let me to my screenshot. Come on, I know it's hiding here somewhere. Here it is. Okay. So it goes behind the body and out. So we're going to have it where it's a little bit exciting. It looks a little weird. It looks like it was coming out of her butt. Still like that. That's cool. Yeah, I'm really down with that. All right. Now we can finally get to the important part, the inks. It's already uh, made a group layer for this. I'm going to die everything down. And we're just going to start working. I'll try to make the face quick. Yeah, we're going to do the rest of it because I feel like I focused way too much on the face for today. It's going to drive me insane going another hour into that. Let's not make him too pointy. This is the sadist stage of uh, art, where you're just doing the same lines over and over again. There you go. Whoa, too big. Gonna erase this, try to get it smooth. And I don't want it to be super sharp. I noticed that whenever I was uh, looking over and setting everything up, that uh, the line R had that part of her really, really, really like, pointy to like a comical degree, which I think is fine. For some more cartoonier styles, but mine isn't that cartoony. Like, it's cartoony, but it's not that cartoony. That's like Dexter's Laboratory, how they, how they draw that. That's nice. If 
we can just raise the capacity a little bit, it was a little unclear where I was doing. Am I on the right brush? I'm on the wrong layer, that's why it's not showing up. Is weird it's perfect exactly where i needed to be but i'm confused why it got so thin at the end There we go. You'll just erase this part. Because I think this line's going to kind of lead to the collarbone. Ooh, that's nice. I think it went too far, but it's. Let's see if I can just keep some of it. That's still too much bet. Let's just let's just do it this way. This is art, everybody. This is how art works. Oh, that was a nice one, actually. Again, that one actually went like the first time. It's not a perfect transition. Come on. Uh, come on, here we go. That one doesn't need to be exact or con uh, connect to anything. There we go. It's slowly coming together. Nice line weights that vary. Everything looks like it's done with brush strokes. How's it looking without the line art? That's nice. Yeah, it's looking a little weird, but we can adjust it just a, just a tiny bit. Wrong layer. One day I'll learn how to click the right layer. If I was an edgy artist, I would do the exact opposite of what I'm doing right now. We're just trying to make the point less significant. But that's just not how I rule. Popping my knuckles. Ooh, there we go. That feels good. Helps me loosen up my fingers. 
Nothing like popping and breaking your bones to make them more jello-like. Right? Right. That was a big stroke, and I think it's actually perfect. God, I love that. When it works. Whoa, that got really fat. That wasn't even like a stroke I intended it to do. I think we could just erase this one. Yeah, it smooths over nicely. Does that look right? Hold on. I think it's supposed to be like the armpit slash a little bit of the back. I'm trying to remember my muscles. I don't know the names for any of them, but... I think I'm focusing too much on the liner and getting confused on and not remembering exactly where all the muscles are supposed to be. I think I'm having an issue because this line isn't actually supposed to be here. Like I'm not uh, thinking through where these lines are supposed to, what these lines are supposed to mean. So this is supposed to go all the way over here. Well, actually, yeah, let's do it like that. Too, too hard. Perfect. I think um, for the Maria stream, I, it took me a little while to get back used to this, um, but it, I remembered that the best way to do like the inking phase to get really like consistent and smooth lines is to um, just completely go through the sketch and completely cut through pieces of the drawing. That way you, you can just erase it off later. Like that line up, I went through the chest and I just had to erase a, a little tail of it. So this looks a little better. I think the last thing I needed, oop, wrong brush. Just the, just a very slight inclination of where the armpit is. I don't think I need it either. I think we can just ignore it, but it's, doesn't hurt. I think of uh, muscles and anatomy as just like whenever I work out, uh, I do what I think is right and then wait till for somebody to tell me I'm doing it wrong. I've spent a lot of time looking at drawings of um, muscles trying to figure out exactly where everything goes, but uh, I never went to school for it. I'm not an anatomist. Whatever that would be. So we're just going by kind of like my guesses for where things are supposed to go. What muscles are pronounced where. Educated guesses, but guesses nonetheless. I don't use references as often as I should. I'm going to have this like a really sharp elbow. I don't think that's realistic, but I think it looks fun. Like really just drive home like how sh sharply she's pushing her elbow up to hold that rope. That one feels right. Why is your razor so small? I 
Let me see if I can get that to, to work a little better. Watched Halloween Kills last night. That was fun. I was very excited. If anybody follows my Instagram, uh, I posted like art, fan art that I made of uh, in uh, expectation of the movie. I think that's enough to make sense. Um, not going to spoil anything, but uh, it was not a very good movie, but it is very fun. And not, I don't want to say extremely fun. There are parts that are just like uh, insultingly dumb, but it also is a Halloween movie. And I think there is an element of that that's to be expected. So if you like uh, Michael Myers Halloween movies, I don't think you'll go away too unsatisfied. Like there's fighting, there's gore, everything you kind of, you, that, you know, th those parts are really important. But it's no, not nearly as like subtle as like some scenes in the original. And the writing to set things up are, it was just like miserable. But I had a good time. I had a good time. I, I, I like, I, I actually would recommend watching it. Even if I don't think it's actually a good movie. Like, I definitely would watch it again. It's, you know, it's like, a, it's a slasher movie, so it's one of those things where it's like, if you look too deeply into the logic, it won't make any sense. But I don't think that's a good enough excuse in this case to, like, completely let it go, go scot-free. But, you know, even, even if you do take it somewhat seriously, you'll still get, you'll still get a kick out of it, I think. So that's why I say it's still enjoyable, even if it's not very good. How are we looking? She's looking very smooth. Very strong. I'm happy with that. That's exactly what I want. I don't know what I'm actually doing with this glove. This is one of those times where I'm kind of looking at the lines that I left for myself and not really understanding the mess that I left. Not understanding my own madness. Just focus on doing this and then we'll put in the rope on the wrong layer. So these are the fingers. I can tell that. That's good. There we go. Hmm. 
Let me just go and tweet this a bit. Okay, so I think this is the pinky. Let me turn up the brightness or turn up the opacity. Okay. Just kind of wanted to mark that out real quick. Clean it up so I can understand exactly what's going on there. Ooh. I'm going to draw the rope in just a bit, just through the hand. So I can understand what it's gripping around. Yeah, we'll leave that there.
That's one of those details that are definitely not going to show up. Kind of want it to look like there's a bit of a ridge here where it's like it's a padded part of the glove. That that's definitely like no one's going to tell. Not from the you know this distance. You can kind of see the little liner over here, but the little too much work for what it's worth. Okay, that's one arm not done because I just did one finger and immediately assumed I was done. Ooh, hold on, this is going to be interesting. Hands are really fun for me. They're like an extremely difficult... Uh, thing to draw for people and I something about that makes it really it's like a nice challenge It's because I'm to the point where I can kind of understand what I'm doing Like I've noticed like a lot of little intricacies that uh hands do like, like a lot of little subtle muscles that Help th make things look a little bit more uh, real so I can bust out all those, like, uh, all that knowledge whenever I do a hand. My massive knowledge, my humongous brain. Feel me? Ah, for God's sake. I just want this tiny little hangnail. Keep... I'm gonna scream. There you go. That's literally all I wanted to do. Now reset the brush. Yeah. I'm good at hands, I said. And then just some wrinkles on the palm. Oh yeah, her nail. Let's not forget the nail. That's really gross. Kind of looks bulbous. Let me fix that. Just looks like a circle. That's better. Yeah, I like that. I think the pinky's looking a little too fat. I'm just going on my own at this point. I'm not even following my line art. It's just me thinking through uh, what fingers and hands do. What that hand do. 
The answer is hold rope. Okay. I think you can get the general shape from that, even though it's only four fingers. There's a, there's a third finger, but it's hiding behind the middle finger, which is pointed out, jutting out a bit from this angle. Sure, everybody was enraptured by the fact that there was one single finger missing, so I needed to explain it. Explained where I was coming from. Where is her sh uh, Okay. Just want to make sure I remember where her... Swimsuit starts to cut. Please. Please, I like this line. I don't want to erase it and do it again. <clears throat> Sir, I'm asking nicely. There we go. And it goes under the collarbone just a bit, so... There we go. Then we could just cut it off there. No, actually, I'll save that for later. Because I want to do the neck next. Neck next. Neck next. Neck next. Okay. I said I was going to do it, and then I almost just decided not to. Ooh, that feels really good. I was confused. I didn't even know what this line was for a minute. I forgot I had drawn it. Okay. Let me turn off the background line art so I can see where the rest of this is going. Because she's going to be right up front, so there's nothing blocking this. Nope. There you go. I actually want to do it like this. And then, let me fix this first. That one feels perfect. Well, let's keep that for a second. I'm actually going to spin this around for a second. Should help me get a good line. No, 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 I'm overthinking. Let's just do it that way. <laughs> what happened to that line? Come on. Oh, that's perfect. That's that's a nice one. Let's see if I can smooth that a bit. That's nice. 
Did I erase this connection or did was that never did I never connect this part? That'll work. Oop. Turn her right back around. Nice. So the line gonna There's probably one where I'm going to need to angle it again. Yeah, let's try it this way. That would have made me really sad if I lost that line. Come on. I need to feel smooth. Am I at the wrong angle? Try it that way. Try doing the other. Try doing this. Yeah, this feels better. Ooh, that's really close. Actually, leave that a little, little sharp because I do want it sharp. I do want it sharp on that ridge. I started mumbling a lot. Okay, let's erase this giant mess from the sing a single uh, muscle. That nearly drove me crazy. Smooth everything out. Get all these tails cut off. Hey, Sarah. Uh, right now we're doing the inking phase of my uh, Araceli character. Let me brighten up everything so you can see the line art that we're going to be working from. So uh, that's her. Um, I think most of today I've just been fixing the head because I didn't like how it looked originally. Uh, she was staring at the camera and that kind of was bugging me. So now she's she's still staring at the camera, but it feels a little bit more like her body is still following what she's doing. It's more like a, just a tiny bit of self-awareness. It's a tiny bit, not too much. Not like, not like she's about to uh, have a speech on camera. Just like a little wink at the camera, this, is, this feels like. And then um, this is the background that we're going to be working from. She's like uh, stealing this like uh, magic book from this like crowd of vampire zombies uh it's not really much of a story behind it it's more just like a general feeling of what the character is going to be like yeah that's what we've been working on all day i still got a little while to go i'm just doing the line art which is you know maybe the most psychopathic part of the art where i really gotta just draw lines over and over again until they f they're just perfect but we abide. The super fun part of just 
doing lines over and over and over and over and over until it's perfectly smooth. I really do like how it's coming together though, with with the how smooth it is. Like it's nice, very nice. Oh, and uh, she's gonna be swinging on a, like a rope. Hold on, where did I put that? There it is. It's gonna have like a rope that wraps around. Very dynamic, very fun. No problem. Thank you for being here. I'm noticing that this muscle actually gets cut off, so I don't even—I didn't even have to draw that perfectly. But we already did. We did it. Me spending uh, time and effort on something that doesn't even show up. Can't imagine it. Never happened before. What am I drawing? Okay, I got a little confused. That's the armpit, actually. The arm muscle goes here. The deltoid. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Without the rope, she kind of just, just like fist pumping. But yeah, she's like swinging through. And there's all those zomboids. I'm really excited to get them done. Because they, they're, they're like a fun kooky characters all various states of angry trying to get the book back and leaping and she's just, she's just having a blast she's a very fun character and I knew uh, it would be a, a really fun to get this one like inked out so let me try to remember what I'm doing boob I really wish that, uh, uh, I don't know what it, what is called this, uh, her chest. In, in a way that doesn't make me sound like an idiot. But I guess there's kind of nothing to save me from sounding like an idiot. Come on. I'm overthinking this, hold on. Let me do this upside down, actually. A little more this way. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect, actually. I don't want it too bold. It's, it, it, like, we're looking straight on, so I kind of want the edges to be a little bit bolder. This is like the dead center of her body, so I don't want it too bold. Otherwise, I'm emphasizing it too much. Booba. Yeah, booba is the technical term. I think, I think that's a Twitch-approved term. Come on, stop spinning, stop spinning, stop spinning. Oh, I'm lost. Okay, here we go. I think I just gave myself a headache. Uh, this is so fun. I get to just draw the same line over and over again until it looks good. I've seen, this, I've seen art, other artists who do digital art really well. It's still the exact same process, as far as I'm aware. So they struggle, through, everybody just struggles through this part. I think it's easier when you're on a digital tablet that actually has like a display, but I'm using like a graphic tablet. I don't think I actually need to draw that. I think this line is basically as far as it, it, I need to detail out now that I think about it. So let me just fix this line now. Smooth it out. I'm getting distracted by Booba. There we go. And it's, it's, I feel like there's a little bit of jaggedness here. Yeah. How does it look from... Come on, come on. Take away the anatomy. Oh, it's perfect. Well, 
Maybe not perfect. Now you dial it back. I think it looks better if I cut off a little bit more, just like a tiny bit. Cut off just a, just a hint of booba. All right, I need to get that out of my system. There's also a spike here. Ah! There we go. Nope. Uh, this is going to take forever. There we go. Put that back on. Just do this the rest of the swimsuit. How about this wrap on her body? I think we should ignore the collarbone a bit here. Or maybe oh, like this. That feels right. Oops. I have a brush resizing shortcut. Bit. There we go. Let me see if I can also get the cut of the other side. Come on. Come on. Come on, please. Work for me. I'm begging you. You can unionize if you want, just work for me. Change the angle. Perfect. Let's uh, do it this angle. Then just one last line. Gonna straighten them out. Here we go. Looking good. I say as I'm gonna tweak it anyways. Okay. I really wanted this entire uh session to just be me inking, but I kind of got stun locked by uh fixing her head. It took a long time to get it just right. And even now, I'm kind of fighting the feeling of needing to tweak it even more. But she looks good. She looks alright. She looks very pretty. Very sharp. The muscles are going to come out a bit. Let's do some lines for that. Because she's got sick abs, bro. Hella ab. Please. Am I going too far with the muscles? Am I doing it too much? Let me finish this lineup, then look at... Please. Please. Sir. Sir. Okay. 
take off the lines. Yeah, yeah, it's looking a little weird there. Let's just do those two under lines underneath that. It's not the right brush. Let's just leave it with that. I think that looks fine. <laughs> Thinking. Let's bring it back. I think I'm going to erase this one. We're just going to leave it on the one line that I had. I might come back and add more lines because it's a swimsuit, so it's, it does actually like cling to her a lot. Because... Hush, I'm the one who designs this. I don't need logic. Who needs logic when you have style? Ooh, ooh, this is a nasty part of anatomy. See if I can make it look right. Just a slight bit of armpit. Just just a um a tiny bit of um, armpit. Not too much. Okay. Oh, I'm drawing parts that aren't showing up again, aren't I? Darn it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't stop myself. This is the phase where I'm supposed to cut pieces out and only focus on what shows up. But my brain keeps just following the line art to a T. Okay. I think we pretty much got most of the upper body part done. Uh, we're going to have to close it soon. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Because I think we're at a good point to stop. Let me brighten up the line art just a bit. Unfortunately, I wasted a lot of time um, working on the head. Uh, I mean, not really a waste of time, but that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, trying to fix it up. I hope to get a lot of the line art knocked out, but I only basically just got started. Uh, it shouldn't be too long, though, because I just have to ink her. There's nothing really else I have to worry about. The background, I'm just going to uh, paint out, basically. Um, there's not going to be any hard edges to any of the zombies. I think them being like this amorphous crowd of uh, hungry zombies is going to look really appropriate. So uh, that's that um the other things i'm gonna have to ink are the book that she's holding and uh the rope which i almost forgot uh so it shouldn't be super super long as far as the inking stage once we get to the colors and everything that's gonna be very exciting um always slamming down colors this is super exciting i'm also gonna have to do another lighting guide um i want to do something a little bit more fun uh i think uh there's still some uh, techniques as far as like showing light that I should be trying. I think uh, trying new angles because I don't really do that much with like being lit from below, being lit from behind, being lit from the front. I usually always default to just above to the front. So I want to try something maybe uh, different this time, maybe from behind, maybe from below. We'll see. But yeah, those are just some things I'm thinking about. Um, thanks for anybody that uh, watched the stream. Uh, I have um something pretty exciting that's going to go up on my Instagram after this. Uh, so I hope you guys check that out. It's been uh, another little project that I've been working on just for fun and decided that I wanted to record. So there's going to be a quick little video going up, hopefully in the next uh, few minutes. Um, next week, we'll get to the rest of the line art. Let me go and pull up my notes. Yeah, the ink 
lighting, color, final touches. I think this is going to go pretty quickly. Hopefully. Let's not jinx it too much. Because there's still a lot of little details that I've kind of just ignored. But yeah, thank you. Everybody have a good night. Uh, bye.